Figueiredo that steps up. Great save. That is a stunning save from Cameron. Viscadito didn't take a penalty in the bronze medal match last time out in the Sea Games. The two skippers go head to head, and it's the keeper that comes off the better. That's a good save. Denise, you need to be a little bit more clinical in the final third. You can see there, Freyas saying that he wanted the throw in. Not given to him though. Marcelino upended, but manages somehow to get the ball back. Fires it back inside. Little layoff there from Jahari. Jahari, it's Jahari! Set match. They scored a couple of seconds into stoppage time at the end of the first 45, and they've doubled the advantage a couple of seconds before the 90th minute. That's going to be it for the Philippines today, I'm afraid. But Jahari makes absolutely no mistake. It was a lovely little interchange and a passing move. The little one, two the ball out of his feet there it's a lovely touch away from the defender Kamarad won't be happy he got beaten at his near post that reverse pass from the other substitute Tofani inch perfect but Jahari conjured that one up for himself on the balance of play over the 90 minutes with the opportunities and chances created you would have to say deserved. That should be that really. They've missed a the penalty as well, Indonesia. So they're not looking too bad. Decent ball fired in, and we're going to get a third. Just a touch away there from Witan. Composed again from Rehan who did well to retain possession. Ball fired into the far post, and it's another substitute who rattles it in. Fajar, who switched from the right wing to the left wing. Two minutes into stoppage time, makes it three. It's not just a good result now, and it's an emphatic result for Indonesia. Lovely ball floated into that far post area, didn't he hit that sweet? We saw him wanting to get the ball on his right foot all the time when he was in the right wing, but that's what he can do. Drills it into the top corner and says thank you very much. Như vậy là trận đấu bắt đầu trong hiệp 1 thì Indonesia trong trang phục áo đỏ sẽ bảo vệ cầu môn phía tay trái hướng theo dõi của quý vị và các bạn. Công bằng mà nói thì so với những bóng còn lại ở bảng A như là Timor Leste đánh đầu khá nguy hiểm. Như là Timor Leste và Philippines và Campuchia nữa thì đội hình của U22 Myanmar cũng không hề thua kém. Và dài Rechman đã chơi khá tốt. Gói! Không vào! Rất đáng tiếc cho cao thủ U22 Myanmar. Okak Naing. Đáng ra Naing phải làm tốt hơn trong pha đối mặt vừa rồi. Pha không chế bóng rất hay. Anh đã loại được Muhammad Ferrari trong pha bóng vừa rồi. Pha dứt điểm quá lành và không thể chiến thắng được thủ thành Ernano. Đó là tại SEA Games năm 2015. không vào phải đầu rất nguy hiểm của Ricky Rido chung về đội trưởng bên phía U22 Indonesia vừa rồi thì chúng ta có thể thấy tình huống làm chậm cầu thủ số 6 của 
U22 Myanmar cũng đã có một pha giằng co rất nguy hiểm trong vòng cấm, đóng góp tới hai bàn cho dù chơi ở vị trí hậu vệ trái. Vẫn là cánh phải của Indonesia Bagat. Tát bóng. Cơi! Vẫn không được. Tuyến ơi! Rất hay! Việt vị rồi. Thủ thành Pea Thu đã có một pha bay người xuất sắc theo tướng vô lê của Rechman. Pha dài Rechman đã bắt vô lê ngay. Đây là một pha bắt vô lê rất chất lượng của số 4 bên phía U22 Indonesia. Nhưng thủ thành Pea Thu đã có một tình huống rất cảnh giác, rất tập trung. Pha đá phạt góc không như ý. Tạt bóng rất hay Và tạt bóng chất lượng của Rechman Cơi vô lê Bàn thắng quá đẹp đã được mở cho các cầu thủ U22 Indonesia Tuyến 2 không có ai cả Một nhịp hạ bóng bằng ngực Và một cú vuốt bóng ngay Bóng đi quá hiểm hóc Lần này thì thủ thành Pia Thu đã không thể cứu thua cho khung thành của U22 Myanmar được nữa. Vẫn là một màn ăn mừng quen thuộc của ban huấn luyện Indonesia. thủ thì rất đông người thì chơi cực kỳ mất tập trung lại là một tiếng dứt điểm nữa của số 4 pha dài Rechman pha dứt điểm số thứ hai của số 4 bên phía Indo trong trận đấu ngày hôm nay rất may là bóng đi chưa đủ hiểm hóc bóng đi đúng vị trí thủ thành Pea Thu đã chọn sẵn rất thoáng từ đây bán không được Hơi tiếc cho Suleiman Và đi bóng đầu tiên của Huita Suleiman là rất hay rồi Sau đó thì cũng rất nhanh Các trung vệ bên phía U22 Myanmar đã kịp thời sửa sai Rất may Trong pha bóng vừa rồi Khi mà Hiên Xue đã Bị Suleiman vượt qua Indonesia Có lẽ là có thẻ vàng dành cho thủ môn bên phía U22 Myanmar. Các thủ Myanmar cho rằng bóng đã đi hết từ biên ngang. Và các trọng tài có vẻ như đã chính xác. Bóng vẫn còn nằm trên vạch biên ngang. Một tình huống nhận định có phần chủ quan của thủ thành Paye thủ bên phía Myanmar so với phần còn lại Marcelino phát lên những pha xử lý cực kỳ lóng ngóng và nghiệp dư của các cầu thủ U22 Myanmar 3, 4 được cầu thủ nhưng không thể kèm được một bình số 7 Marcelino và có phạt đền dành cho các thủ Indonesia Để mặt quá thất vọng của huấn luyện viên Vincent Peter Biner rất nghiệp dư phạt đền là hoàn toàn xinh, chính xác ngăn cản được bước thăng tiến của những đội mạnh như là Indonesia hai không cho Indonesia quá dễ dàng người ghi bàn đó là Ramadan người chơi cao nhất trên hàng công của U22 Indonesia Ramadan đã có bàn thắng thứ hai cho đội bóng của mình tại trận đấu này tình huống đá phạt 11 mét vào một tình huống mà số 9 đã đánh lừa được hướng di chuyển của thủ môn bên phía U22 Myanmar Pia Thu
Myanmar sẽ chơi không còn gì để mất cả Họ sẽ dâng cao đội hình Không được Yên Aung Như vậy vẫn còn không có bàn thắng cho các cầu thủ U22 Myanmar Thì không biết đến bao giờ mới có bàn thắng được Cầu môn đã bỏ trống Một cầu môn hơn 7 mét rưỡi Chỉ 5 mét thôi Nhưng vẫn đá ra ngoài Quá đáng tiếc Nếu thức điểm của tiền đạo vào sân tay người Aum Khan Dứt điểm Tỷ số là 3-0 cho U22 Indonesia Bàn thắng thứ hai của Sanata Thế là do U22 Myanmar quá dở thôi Hãy nhìn cách mà họ mất bóng trong dưới vừa rồi cự ly đội hình không hiểu trong pha bóng vừa rồi cầu thủ số 19 của Myanmar tại sao vẫn còn đứng thấp như vậy Na Ung Suê một mình anh đứng cạnh thủ môn nếu Na Ung Suê dâng lên cùng các đồng đội thì có lẽ là Sanata đã việt vị pha dứt điểm rất hay của số 9 rất hay của Beckham Không được Và càng ngàn có ý đồ tốt của Redman Ananda đã không thể tiếp cận Được càng ngàn vừa rồi của đồng đội Trận đấu đầu tiên giải đấu hôm nay Thì Ananda chính là tiền vệ trung tâm Ra quân trong bình xuất phát Của U22 Indonesia Nhưng trận này anh đã dự bị Và chỉ được có sân Ở hiệp thi đấu thứ hai thôi Quá người thành công Vẫn quá người thành công Dứt điểm Không vào Và đi bóng rất hay của Liên tiếp là những cái sàng chân Dứt điểm ở một góc thế này thì thật khó để có thể Có được bàn thắng Ananda Thạch bàn Dứt điểm 4-0 cho U22 Indonesia Điều gì đến cũng đã phải đến rồi Chỉ số được nâng lên 4-0 trong nghiệp đấu thứ hai. Chất lượng đội hình không cao Và rất thiếu kinh nghiệm non nớt Quá nhiều khoảng trống được tạo ra Và thậm chí trận đấu này Thì các cầu thủ U22 Myanmar Sẽ còn phải nhận thêm bàn thua nữa Chứ không dừng ở con số 4 nếu cứ chơi như thế này Quá đơn giản Một góc sút quá rộng dành cho Rackman Mất bóng đơn giản Beckham Vẫn là Beckham Không vào Vẫn còn Vẫn không vào Nhưng mà phù hợp như chỗ không người Thời gian vẫn còn rất nhiều nữa cửa lòng chưa đủ hiểm hóc của bách thắng thậm chí là một tình huống hai đánh một cho cao thủ indonesia có bàn thắng không nếu là một tình huống căng ngang thì chắc chắn có bàn thắng chưa có bàn thắng thứ năm cho U22 Indonesia. Và bóng mà Awazi đã vượt qua được thủ thành Payotu. Gành không thể qua người. cho các cầu thủ Indonesia giữ điểm 5-0 quá đơn giản khoảng trống là quá nhiều đúng như là nói với một thế trận như thế này thì chắc chắn là các cầu thủ trẻ Indonesia vẫn sẽ nghĩ thêm việc ghi bàn thắng đó là sự khác biệt 
khi có tình huống đứng bằng một một thì các tiền đạo bên phía U22 Indonesia dám xử lý tình huống một một nhưng các cầu thủ Myanmar thì không và xử lý gọn gàng của Kawaji Behind Ramadan Sananta. Now the counter attacks on the other way into the final minute of this first half that has been entertaining. It's ebbed and flowed, that's for sure. Witan helps that one on Fajar. We'll get there. Ramadan Sananta is in the box. So is Witan now. Fajar has to come all the way back. Marcelino, Witan, Fajar delivers decent ball in, and it's as simple as that for Ramadan Sananta. Right on the stroke of half time, quality ball into the box, simple textbook header. It is as easy as that as Indonesia take the lead. Right on the stroke of half time. It's the perfect storm. Witan getting to the byline, rolling it back. Quality delivery from Fajar, who'd come from the right hand flank to the left hand side, whips it in with that left foot. Marking not the best on that occasion from Timor Les, but take nothing away from the finish. Ramadan just glancing it into that far corner. Goes to the top of the goal scoring charts this tournament with three goals they've been eliminated from this group yesterday Singapore now played out a nil-nil draw to elim eliminate themselves from the competition Tananta has Fajai in the middle good defending though Oligar comes back though Rehan finds Fajar Fajar off the left foot there you go that should be it It was a good build-up. Fajar here looked as though the opportunity had gone, but he just moved it half a yard and then went back across the keeper into the far corner. They're on their way to the semi-finals. Pushing forwards and causing problems. Simple Beckham, Fadja for a second. He hits the woodwork, but hooks in the rebound. It's another player for Indonesia that's managed to get himself more than one goal in this tournament. Are we looking at the Red Hot favourites? They're starting to turn the screw now. The pressure was on. They've kept it on, and this time they've managed to capitalise and get a gain. Great work from everyone in a white shirt there. Fajar, a brilliant save again from Mendonca, but just acrobatically hooks it back over his head into the back of the net. It is deserved, particularly this second 45 where diagonal ball. Korea couldn't get on the end of. So Nivio chasing all the way back in. Right at the end.
in the blue strip, kicking from left to right. Easy in the end for Mohamed Ferrari, straight away and straight off the bat. Shows you that maybe Cambodia will look to go a little bit more direct. Good diagonal switch. Infant can bring that under control, has Heikel outside him. Elects to go inside, lovely little give and go. Infant Jahiri wants it back again. It's gone out wide. Heikel delivers decent ball in free header. Shoyak couldn't finish. But it was finished at the second attempt by Titan Agung. Cool, can't finish from him. And surely that is what's going to break. Cambodia Hearts. Troyer doing well on that occasion. He fluffed his lines last time, but he's forced Rethleheng into a save. Unfortunately, he's just flipped it back into the middle. And Titan brought in to replace Sananta. Up top, gets his goal. Fired in, but communication when they should now that drilled it in the air. But nice effort from Titan, and again, Red Liang went down early and just bundles it over the goal line. You should really catch that. Ball fired in, it's deep. It's a free header back across goal, and it's in the post and gone in. Right on the stroke of half time. Saba Makara. He's now a new national treasure and a national hero. No one went with him. And there is the half-time whistle. So it was right slap bang on the whistle. A glimmer of hope. Right at the death, at the end of the first 45. Cambodia now believe. All nil, the Philippines and Myanmar. Oh, it's going to be tense, the second half. the only change as well Ball hoisted into the box and the keeper had to sort himself out and know where his posts were very very quickly Here, Beckham skips past the challenge. Is still Beckham. Beckham! It's taken a wicked deflection. This second 45 minutes. Beckham Putra dropping his shoulder. Firing it in. Looked like it hit the hand of Sweet Nava. But Beckham will get the goal. So. Walker forwards, not the best, and a chance here. Limpasoth. As Limpasoth rolls it across goal, ignore it! Over the time and space now for Fatsoka. Fatsoka, lovely ball played forwards. Is that a penalty? The referee's pointed to the spot. Saw Rotana on as a substitute, gets caught, gets upended, and wins a penalty.
there the contacts outside the box the initial contact but where's the final contact he hasn't touched him in the box what a chance this is to draw level and put us back to having a dramatic final 10 minutes of group by action this the chance the real real chance it is limpus off it's saved but the rebounds come out and another save not going to count well it's all going to go off now Sorotana has got every opportunity to go for that ball and is allowed to the same as Limpasov he elected to go straight down the middle the goal's not going to stand here it is keeper saves it he's gone for the ball the keeper's come out and been brave but I don't think it's really smashed into him it's only after he played the ball so is that a free kick there's the penalty it's a poor penalty don't get me wrong but he's built it straight back to him he's made full contact with the ball limpers off I think that should stand that goal should stand the goalkeeper has spilt it and thrown it back into play Pumchai going on the overlap gets it back can he deliver that's far far too heavy and that's just about gonna do it you cannot say they haven't had the chances or the opportunities tonight because they have then Nora with that chance the open goal Limpus off missing at the near post and missing a penalty and deflected goal that late goal against the Philippines in all boats that Cambodia have shot themselves in the foot it really was wholehearted from Cambodia to say the pitch is looking absolutely magnificent all those changes made by Trussier because it was only 48 hours ago that Vietnam did play against Thailand Indonesia had an extra day's rest but a lot of the players were rested for that last game in strong in the challenge and the tackle Mazahan, and who plays over in Japan, of course. Satama Ahan coming all the way across. He'll be the one that will launch this one in. It's a really big flow and a free hit. What a finish from the man that started every game for Indonesia, Komang Tegu. He came and arrived late on and buried that header into the corner. What a throw that is. Look at the trajectory, it's so flat, but he just strolled in there unmarked Komang and made absolutely no mistake. Dream start for Indonesia. It's his first goal of the tournament, Komang. But what a vitally important goal that could be.
and Punk can drop in between the lines and cause all sorts of problems. Example here, Bin Throng pulls it back. Van Tong with a half chance. Great run from out to in. Magas Kaffer just got caught ball watching and it allowed Paul Bin Throng to try and pull it back. How about that on the turn from the big man? Not a million miles away. Vietnam getting closer. Ball flipped back in and it's glanced up and over. And who else but the big man himself? Gwen Van Tong. He scored the opening goal of their campaign. And it was a header. And that was against Lau. He scored with another header here. What a ball whipped in. He gets in front of Rizki Rido and just gets a faint glance on it. It goes up and over. Hamano Ari in goal, giving him absolutely no chance. Came back on. 100%. Straight swaps all round, though. No doubt about that. As we get going for the second half, and it is the Red team of Indonesia kicking from right to left. It's launched right in there. The keeper's had a little bit of a flap, and now the volley back in. Marcelino! Was it the last touch come off the defender, Ferrari? Well, we'll have to see the replay. Marcelino just drilled it in. They've had two long throws in the game and they have scored two goals. And it is Ferrari that has scored this. There's that throw again. Poor goalkeeping to push it back into play. Marcelino drills it goal bound. And the centre back who's come on at half time to replace the other centre back has scored with his calf. Just a faint little flick. Perfect start to the second 45 minutes then for Indonesia. Vietnam will throw absolutely everything forward, including the centre-backs. Quang got Dang. He carries his run on forwards. Lee Van Do has space in behind. Van Trong checks back. Got Dang delivers decent ball as well. Packed into his own net though. And it's the skipper who's put it past his own keeper, Risky Rido. Trussier took the gamble, brought on Van Kang and brought on Van Truong because he knew against 10 men they can sacrifice another body to push forwards and it's paid dividends. But Tang is the man that's whacked it in and just delivered it. And actually it's not Risky Rido, it's Bagas Kaffa that puts the ball past his own keeper. Heartbreak for him. Put your left foot through the ball, son. He's tried to hack at it with his right. And because of that and the spin on the ball, it's come off his shin and into the back of the net. Vietnam, all square. Oh, and there's the glancing header, what a save! Van Tong thought that was in. He's got in front of his man and glanced it into that far post area. Pushed away to safety. Fernando Ari, what a save that was. Fingertips. Difficult to see if it was creeping in or not, you'll see from this sort of angle though. Oh, it is, it's creeping in. 
Oh, and now a friend just caught out of position. Five white shirts forwards. Kong Den tried to play it on, but just got dispossessed. And that's a brilliant touch. And that's very, very well played from Talfany. And now Fadja at the other end. Fadja checks back inside, waits for support. Fadja goes himself. Brilliant block. Talfany picks up the loose ball. Talfany! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? The ten men have stung Vietnam. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Three minutes left on the clock, and Vietnam have conceded against the ten men of Indonesia. It looked like nothing was going on. They blocked the shot. Talfani had all the space closed down and somehow chops it back through the legs of the defender and across Quan Van Tuan in goal to score. And almost, almost with the last kick of the game, Indonesia take the lead. Everyone will just be pushed forwards now. It was five minutes, 50 seconds, six minutes into stoppage time. The question is now, are we going to have an equaliser? Amando Ari down to his left. Thuan Tien trying to find that bottom corner. Well, we said there'd be more drama left in this one, and there certainly has been. Irfan, they've won the corner. Bagas looked to fire it across goal rather than keep it in the corner. And you can see Indra Shafi calming everyone down. Countdown's done. Kickoff begins. Thailand coming right to left. Straight away, a little trip there. We're at the 20 minute mark here now. This game is absolutely flying by. Defender with the ball in. Free header! Again! Lightning strikes twice! It happened in the semi, and it's happened in the final. This time, Alfendra with the ball in. It was another flat throw, and Ramadan Sananta makes absolutely no mistake with the header. Flicked it on, it did look as though it took a deflection going in then. There's the throw, there's the header, and that's the knee of Song Chai. Not in front of his man, Song Chai gets in front of his keeper. And again, it's another dream start for Indonesia. Miskindido just launches that one long. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes! What a gamble! Ramadan Sananta with his second of the game. Shocking defending. Song Chai and Kamdi just don't deal with the ball. But Ramadan Sananta just goes and attacks it and just flicks it straight in the air. It's his second, but it's come at such a pivotal time in the game. The drop ball, 
the long ball forwards. Song Chai doesn't deal with it. Kemdi doesn't deal with it. Sananta has just gone and attacked the ball. And who said football is a complicated game? There's nothing wrong with that at all. Long ball punted forwards. Your striker attacks it, gets something on it and flicks it over the keeper who's in no man's land. And before you know it, it's 2-0. required 45 minutes is what is left have Thailand got another gear that they can move into so down the line it's just cluttered straight into him there header 2-1 and that is his that gets one back and we said the next goal would be absolutely pivotal and that could be it his third of this sea games just stroll in there no one close enough to him it looks as though it was Bagas that was supposed to be marking him. Didn't get close at all. Allowed that free header for Anand. Game back on. This is the last opportunity. The ball is going to get launched in there. It does. Who's the target? Is it hacked away? It's has got a no! Yes! Drama at the end of the first. Drama at the end of the second. Can you believe substitute Yotsikorn comes on? We're going to extra time. There is massive, massive dramas going on here. Indonesia thought that they'd won the game, but the referee had awarded a free kick. It didn't blow the whistle the way that you would end a game. So it was a free kick. Indonesia were premature, they jumped around thinking that they'd won and they've taken their eye off the ball. The ball just launched in, they don't deal with it. Yotsukun gets on that loose ball, drills it past Emano Ari at the near post. What a substitution that is. Well, settle yourselves down. Look. Thailand that get us underway by the looks of it. Ascendancy. We said that next goal was going to be critical, and it really, really was. Oh, a mistake though, and a chance here. Irfan Jahir is in behind. Irfan, what a finish! Oh, what a finish! Go on, son! Defensive mistake from Thailand. They've gifted the ball, and it's all going off here. Oh, this is shocking. This is absolutely disgusting. No one wants to see this. No one needs to see this. Obviously, some of the Indonesian staff or players have gone up over to the other bench and tried to rub it in their faces. Shocking scenes. This is disgusting. 
There's no need for this. The question is, is what will happen? Will the referee abandon the game? There were lots and lots of punches thrown there. Well, he doesn't look well at all, does he? You can see there he's got a, a cut lip as well. Shocking, shocking scenes here. Infant Juhairi with an absolute deft touch. What a finish that was. Just a couple of minutes into stoppage time. But you've got to turn around. His name means a lot as well. He scored that goal against Cambodia to make it 2 0. So he has scored in this competition. There's Real Fami just helping that one. Beckham slides it through. Irfan Jahiri looking to get behind again. A lot of it's about pace now. Apposite being asked to just sit in there as a centre back. Beckham. Real Fami. Fadja. Fadja! Surely that's it. Surely that is game over. He scored in stoppage time against the Philippines earlier on. He scored against Myanmar. He scored two against Timor Leste. Fadja now becomes joint top goal scorer in the competition, along with Ramadan, Sananta, and Gwen Van Tung. That just about seals it. Took his time and then buried it in the top corner. Perfect finish. Right in the corner. Did it with no chance at all. Two goal advantage is back. Here's Fadja. Just bends it into the far post. Simple tapping. Oh, what a save. What a stunning save. But now Beckham. Game over. Game over. He scored against Cambodia. He's scored again here tonight. He's probably going to get a yellow card, but I don't think that will bother him. It's the final nail in the coffin. And you can see what it means to them. Great ball in from Fadja. What a stunning save that was from Tiddlewood, but Beckham in the right place at the right time. Just created that yard for himself and drilled it into that bottom corner. Game, set, match. Indonesia. Full-time whistle has gone as well. Handshakes between the...